Hello everyone, I'm Lucas Clawson, historian here at Hagley Museum and Library, and this is Hagley from Home. Today I'm going to tell you a little bit about one of the most epic items in our collection, the mural from the 1939 New York World's Fair that stood in the DuPont Pavilion. The DuPont Company had a big problem in the run-up to World War II. In 1934, a book called Merchants of Death came out, which accused DuPont and other companies of profiteering off of World War I. Shortly thereafter, Senator Gerald Nye of North Dakota started what was called the Nye Committee hearings, which ran until 1936 to investigate American companies for profiteering off the war. DuPont was exonerated, but took an absolute bloodbath in a public relations world. So DuPont, to rehabilitate its image, hired the PR firm BBD&O, as well as the design firm Walter Dorwin Teague, to come up with ideas of how to rehabilitate DuPont's reputation. So DuPont started going out to fairs, small ones in Texas, larger ones across the country, but the 1939 New York World's Fair was huge for the DuPont company. So Walter Dorwin Teague designed a pavilion, which DuPont occupied, and the Brandywine River artist John W. McCoy, who was a contemporary of people like uh, N.C. Wyeth and Howard Pyle, did a painting for the company. It's a pretty big mural. It used the new uh, slogan that DuPont came up with that says, better things for better living through chemistry, and used the iconic figure of chemistry, which was a big guy in the center holding up a beaker or a, or a piece of light. This was used in DuPont company advertising throughout the late 1930s. So it shows the transition of people struggling under these huge burdens living in log cabins, but through the wonders of chemistry, they're able to open up and live in bright new worlds and even carry box lunches. So this was a pretty big thing. The New York World's Fair in 1939 was not only big for DuPont rehabilitating its own reputation, but this is where the company debuted nylon and nylon stockings. So it was a tremendous way to turn around how DuPont thought of itself and how people out in the wider world saw the DuPont company. So come and see it sometime. It's in the Soda House, which is in a building, which is part of our library. We use this to hold weddings and conferences, all sorts of things. So if you find yourself at Hagley, come to the Soda House and see the mural from the 1939 New York World's Fair.